Namaste and welcome to the Jyotishi YouTube channel. Today being the first day of Navratri, we are going to talk about the different chants that we should be chanting for the next 9 days. It is good like Anand will tell us the different the importance of the Lalita Sahasra Namam and why we should be chanting the Lalita Sahasra Namam and in addition are there any chants that we should chant on a daily basis. Anand, what are the mantras that one should chant during the 9 days of the Navaratri? Yes. So, uh, all the 9 days, it is important that we chant Lalita Sahasranam or Durga Sahasranam. So, these, one of these should be definitely chanted in all the 9 days. In addition to uh, the mantras, the Lalita Sahasranam, we can also do uh, Durga Shaptashati part at home. So, uh, this, uh, this can continue for the entire 9 days. But definitely Durga Sahasnamam or Lalita Sahasnamam for the entire 9 days needs to be chanted. Or you can get up in the morning and then play Lalita Sahasnamam as soon as you get up. So it brings the energy of Devi onto the system for the entire 9 days. This needs to be accompanied by our physical cleansing, mental cleansing and then spiritual cleansing that we talked about. So these three things are very very important. The first three days, uh, we are focusing on uh, removal of tamoguna, I mean removal of dirt in the system. The first three days, we can uh, uh, start with, in addition to Lalita Sasnama, we can uh, chant the Ashtotram. So we are focusing here on the, uh, the tamoguna part of it. We can, uh, the uh, Lalita Ashtotram or the Dur Durga Ashtotram or uh, the thousand names of uh, Goddess Durga, th those kind of things can be chanted in the first three days. So it sort of purifies the system from a Tamo perspective and the next three days we can extensively focus on Mahalakshmi. So uh, the Mahalakshmi Ashtotram, the uh, Ashtalakshmi Stotram or uh, Sri Suktam. So these are the chants that you can focus on in the next three days and uh, primarily in the evenings. So right from day one if we chant uh, shlokas in the evenings it is sort of very good and it um, uh, kind of takes us to the uh, next level, next plane kind of a thing or a spiritual plane where there is a connect uh, kind of a thing. In the last three days, uh, any Saraswati related stotram is uh, fantastic. So any stotram to do with learning, any stotram to do with uh, or s s small uh, Saraswati Gayatri or uh, you know Sarva Mangala Mangalye or Vagdeva Chadime, Brahmavatni Chadimehe, Tannovani Prachod, any, any small sloka which relates to Goddess Saraswati is fantastic for these. What about the, the uh, Kavacham, let's say the Devi Kavacham, is, is it good yes. to chant a Kavacham yes. also on, yes. the, on those things? So any uh, Stotra, any Mantra related to Devi, which, which could include a Kavacham, which could include a Chandipat, so any uh, Devi related Stotra is fantastic for these uh, 9 days. So we are trying to invoke the feminine, uh, the beautiful feminine spiritual energy which could include love, which could include compassion, which could include, you know, uh, cleanliness. So the, the system, it has to start from our home. So our home has to be reasonably clean. Uh, clean. Right. So, so uh, it starts from the uh, system internally. So we have to sort of clean the entire home, clean the entire office, clean ourselves, purify ourselves. So for example, uh, we are doing the puja, you know, rigorously nine days, but your basic character and nature is same. It doesn't help any, you know, any right. purpose. So, for example, morning the maid comes, you start shouting at her, and then you go and then start doing your puja. It, it's completely contradictory to what we are trying to do here. So, so for example, uh, uh, small four or five small children come, and then then uh, you give your kid uh, a special preference as compared. No, that is not compassion. So, we are trying to bring in a change, a dramatic change in the way we think and way we operate in terms of the entire feminine energy that we want to kind of absorb. So from that perspective, uh, the entire thinking perspective has to change. Whether it's a male or a female, uh, so for example, you know, you uh, kind of uh, get into quarrels in the uh, at home, You uh, it's better to keep quiet, it's better to turn inward, do a silence uh, individual program for yourself <laughs> and then uh, try not to get into uh, altercations and then uh, unnecessary arguments, do not get into social media and then try and give your viewpoints where you have absolutely no idea about that particular stuff and field and those kind of things. 
so you are trying to inculcate a culture wherein uh, you are completely sort of absorbing that satvik divine feminine shakti so the most important significance of the nine days of the navratri is one is chanting but what also happens with chanting is we need to go inward that is what anand mentioned right it is very important to go inward and see what is happening within us and that is when the devi shakti or and the qualities associated with the devi are essentially blossom within us right that is what happens within us so if you like this video do comment below and thank you for watching the jyotishi channel